with global temperatures rising, we really need to reduce our CO2 emissions. And to do that, we need to move towards renewable energies. And in order to move towards renewable energies, we really need energy storage. So the batteries we use today are lithium ion batteries. That's what we use in our cell phones and laptops. Any battery that you plug into a wall is probably a lithium ion battery. Those batteries work really well for these kind of small applications where you have uh, mobile electronics. With electric vehicles, those types of applications also use lithium ion batteries, but the batteries are very expensive. In my research, we make new materials and we try to understand their ability to uh, store electrons, so to reduce or to oxidize. These new materials are usually sourced from abundant resources, so we think of things that are abundant in the Earth's crust, like magnesium, iron, and sulfur. If they were to be widely distributed, then we would be able to make a lot of them and not worry about resource considerations. So we're really a fundamental chemistry group trying to understand the ability of these materials to store charge and uh, make it reversible. One of kind of the holy grail chemistries in my lab is to target magnesium sulfur batteries. So it's a magnesium anode and a sulfur cathode. Um, both of those materials are very inexpensive. Magnesium is found all over the world. Sulfur is a byproduct of petroleum refining. So we can use the materials that are pulled out of, of petrochemicals when, when we do fuel refining in a commodity chemical fashion. Thank you.